Hi all, my name is Haley Comet and welcome to my cosmic corner of the internet where we discuss all things astrology and today, Venus in Taurus in a birth chart, how this placement in rulership shows up romantically, artistically, creatively, aesthetically, as these are all the domain of Venus. And spoiler alert, this placement is in rulership. So if this is your placement, someone that you know, this is a blessed, happy Venus who is bearing all sorts of gifts. Before I dive in, if at any point in this video you gain any bit of clarity, of knowledge, you feel seen, you feel heard, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like, comment something fun below, subscribe only if I've earned it, turn the notifications on if you want more cosmic content. And without further ado, let's dive into the Venusian magic Venus in Taurus. So Venus rules Taurus. So when you see Venus is in Taurus in your birth chart, Venus is right at home. This placement is kicking in the living room, got her shoes off, eating ice cream, watching a soap opera. She is comfy as can be. And whereas Venus in Libra is also in rulership as Venus co-rules Taurus and Libra, Taurus indicates more of the earthy side of Venus, whereas Libra is more the airy side of Venus. So Venus in Libra will lend itself to charm, charisma, grace with other people, love for love, whereas Venus in Taurus will lend itself to sensual, physical sides of beauty and pleasure. So I'll break it down. So let's take it through each side of Venus. So we often know Venus as the love placement, right? So Venus and Taurus individuals will have a love for love. They'll be very, very romantic and their brand of romance is very grounded. They are very kind of steady. They aren't people who will leave you hanging when they are committed. They are very loyal, though they do have a love for beauty in any form in their life. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be, you know, unfaithful. Venus in Taurus is very, very steady. There is a dependability. There is a reliability. This is someone that you can turn to. And in love, they kind of love that feeling of having someone steady, someone dependable. For them, love isn't necessarily roller coasters and excitement and gambling and all these things. For them, love is experiencing delicious food together, sensual pursuits together, cuddling. There's a very tactile, physical lover. So they'll want a lot of time with their, you know, with their person. They'll want a lot of cuddling, right? Venus is what we love. So with Taurus governing, you know, things that we touch, they are very, very cuddly. They'll love kisses. They'll love affection. They love that feeling of feeling close to someone. Also romantically, there can be a tendency to be a little bit possessive, right? Because Taurus is learning how to relate to the physical and material world. So with Venus and Taurus, there can be a tendency when they're in love, it's like, okay, this is mine. You are mine, right? Because Taurus is learning about possessions and things. So they can confuse people as belonging to them. So they can be very, very possessive lovers. They can be very, very jealous lovers. And also when it comes to love, like let's say you're crushing on Venus Taurus and you're like, why are they not making a move? Taurus is a very slow, languid energy. They don't want to be rushed. Like they need to take their sweet time. They are very direct. They know what they want and they'll kind of go after it, but they're not gonna be someone who like rushes you know, right to being your bae right away. Like they'll want to get to know you. They'll want to enjoy life with you. They won't necessarily be like, okay, let's get married. Let's do the whole thing. They, they live life at a very slow, languid pace. So definitely don't rush them. And you know, if you're crushing on a Venus Taurus and you're like, what can I do to change their mind? Taurus is very dead set once they're fixated upon something. You know, they're a fixed sign. They know what they like and they like what they like and they won't be told otherwise. So it's not necessarily the sort of energy that you can convince like, hey, fall in love with me um, because they, they know what they like and they're very, very particular about what they like, um, especially in love. Venus and Taurus love language is feeding you for sure. My boyfriend is this and he is constantly trying to feed me every hour of the day. It's amazing. He's a great cook, but Venus and Taurus definitely expresses their love through more kind of physical means. So they can be very, very generous, like finding the perfect gift for you while they're out shopping and giving it to you or expressing their kind of love for you through cooking, right? Through physical things. They're not necessarily going to express their love in a very kind of like flowery intellectual way. Um, or like being like, let's go do this thing. Let's try this new adventure. Like they're very steady. They're dependable. They like a routine. So long as they have money in the bank, a good meal in their, in their tummies and a sensual experience 
in the bedroom, they're pleased. They're, it's a rather simple placement. Like they don't need all these crazy things out of life. They just want from a love partner, someone who will eat good food with them, cuddle them, relax with them, nap with them. They really have a love for leisure and taking things at a little bit slower pace. So if you're looking for someone who is necessarily super fun and super exciting and always wanting to do new things, you might not necessarily find that in a Venus Taurus, but I will say date a Venus Taurus if you want someone who is dependable, makes you delicious food, very, very generous, and very, very aesthetically gifted. Venus and Taurus lends itself very well to beauty. They really have a natural ability when it comes to decorating, when it comes to style. And like I said, it's a fixed sign. They know what they like, they like what they like. So you might notice like when it comes to fashion, when it comes to style, they might like shopping from the same brands like every single time. Like they like dependability, right? They don't necessarily like things being all crazy and chaotic. They like knowing, okay, when I shop from this brand, when I get this particular thing, I like what I get, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And they tend to be very gifted. They know what's going to look good. As I mentioned, they do love cuddling. They're very tactile. They love kind of um, being comfy, being cozy. So they tend to be very, they tend to be very sensitive to the textures of things. So like needing things that are soft, needing things that are very comfy. They're more kind of physically and sensually oriented than other signs. They literally live their life through the senses. So whereas other, you know, people who don't have as much Taurus placement to the chart can deal with a sheet that's a little bit scratchy, Venus and Taurus will need, you know, the silk sheets and the velvet shirts, all of those things, because they are more just inclined. They're very tactile. They like to touch things. They like to feel cozy. They also just love being bougie. Seriously, Venus and Taurus, like I said, they're particular. They know what they like and they will not settle. Taurus is a manifester of the zodiac and not necessarily in a, like a spiritual sort of way like Pisces is, but they, you know, they're very, very tuned into their physical experience and they will wait. Like I said, they're very patient. They're very kind of slow and determined. They will wait until they really like something. So they don't settle. They want the $28 sprinkles. They want the nice sheets. They have a heightened sense of what is beautiful and what feels good and what is cozy. And they do not settle for anything less than that. Artistically, they could be really gifted. Like I said, with Venus and Taurus, there really is a magic when it comes to aesthetic and expressing itself. So it comes through through their style. It comes through their fashion. It comes through through food. Taurus is associated with food. So Venus and Taurus individuals tend to be very creative with food, gifted cooks, very inclined. You know, Venus is what we love. They love food, maybe love experimenting with different textures, different spices. Venus and Taurus are very, very inclined through their taste buds. Like if they do not like a meal, most of us can like bounce back, but Venus and Taurus will ruminate. Things look pretty. And like I said, Taurus is fine with waiting. So like for me, when I eat, I get so impatient because I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just want to eat this, right? Taurus is very just kind of like, they'll wait for the good meal. They'll wait for someone they really, really like and really connect with. They'll wait until they find the perfect comforter that is beautiful as well as cozy. They are comfortable being patient and waiting until something satiates their high standards. They can be stubborn, a little set in their ways for sure, but they know what they like and there's a consistency to their brand of love and style. You know what you're gonna get for, with Venus Taurus and oftentimes what you're gonna get with Venus Taurus is a high degree of romance, high degree of comfort, high, high degree of aesthetic gifts and a high degree of art. It, typically, I'll notice with Venus and Taurus natives, they can be very, very gifted cooks. They can be great designers. Honestly, anything that is beauty lends itself to, they might be really inclined to do things with their hands, Gardening also with Venus and Taurus, they can love gardening, taking care of their front yard, perhaps growing plants. They like to do things with their hands to physically connect to their environment. Like they need to connect to their body. They're more inclined to connect with their body. They could really love forms of exercise that just feel good. Any sort of connection to their body, to their physical experience kind of helps them ground down. They could love the spa, facials, massages. They love things that feel good. They're very, very sensually inclined. They love money. Like I said, Taurus, you know, they do have a work ethic to them because they need to work to afford all the luxurious or nice things that they like. And, and not to say that every tourist needs to make a ton of money or that they need to buy $28 sprinkles, but they do 
like a certain caliber of things. Like they will likely more so go towards quality than buying like something cheap over and over and over again because they know what they like and they're very kind of insistent upon it. Friends, is this your placement? What's it like being Venusianly blessed? Let me know below. My IG handle is at Haley Comet Astrology. I post a weekly IGTV called Magic Monday, where I take you through the astrological events of the week ahead and how you can synchronize them to live your most magical life. And until we meet again, drink lots of water and stay cosmic.